Hi, welcome to Rocked and Rebel. I'm here with Sandra and we are back with a new round of first impressions. And this time around we are going to check out pretty much, no, it's not pretty much, it's the entire line of Novelista. Um, I don't really know anything about Novelista mm -hmm. uh, on uh, Fragrantica. It says that it's a fairly new company. They started up uh, last year and it's supposed to be like a mix of uh, fragrance experts and artists and whatnot. So we have samples that cover their entire collection. So we are going to find out if it's any good. So I think we should just get busy, right? So the first one out is a Rouge Privé. So I'm gonna let you handle these perfume oh strips my God. and the tester and Rouge Privé. I'm gonna quickly run through the notes. Is um, rosy, so it has damask rose, lemon and bergamot, peony and patchouli, benzoin, vetiver and musk. Mm, interesting mix. This really reminds me of another fragrance and I would say Intense Cafe from mm. Montal. Yeah, and that's yes. interesting because the first thing I thought when I got a whiff of this right now is that this smells like a Montal perfume. Yes. Uh, and I think it's kind of nice. It's nice and you are right. This is this is like <laughs> this is really close to it Intense is. Cafe. It is. Maybe not there's something missing. Yeah, That's maybe not, not as milky. No. Um, Intense Cafe has this sort of a milky coffee vibe yes. to it. But, but I really it, like this one. And I, I also like Intense Cafe. Mm. So it's not a surprise that I like this one as well, mm. when they're so similar. But it's it's just weird that it's so close yes. to, uh, to Intense Cafe. It really is. Um, wow, okay. I think... As you say, it's milky, it's like Intense Café, not so much coffee in it that mm. one would like to have, but milky rose, maybe. Mm. Yeah, this is... Uh, if you ever tried anything from Montal, well, not everything, but uh, you can find the sort of a DNA in this one. This smells like... It, it could have been Montal who made it. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's um, really close to Intense Café. Uh, it's interesting that both you and I picked up because we have different noses. Yes, we but do. I, the first thing I thought was Montal, and the first yes. thing you thought was in, Intense Cafe. Uh, so, yeah, um, I mean, uh, I love Intense Cafe, so how could I not enjoy this one? Yes. Uh, it's a bit weird though that it's, it's so similar. It's so similar. similar yeah. So, if you can buy Intense Cafe, I don't know why you should buy this yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, and Intense Cafe is. I think it's also with really good quality. It yeah, stays yeah. on your skin for quite yeah. some time and it yeah. projects good. So. Yeah. so if you are going to give a rating from 1 to 10 for the uh, Rouge Privé from Novelista. I'm going to give it an 8. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I love Intense Café. This is nice. But how can I give this one <laughs> the same rating as I would to... Yeah, in yeah. yeah. Uh, but they are not 100% similar. There's something missing in this one, so it's not a 100% dupe, but it's pretty damn close. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna give it seven or seven and a half. Yeah. It's pretty good, it uh, is. and uh, it's a good start to the I think, to our first I impression so. of Novelista. Yes. Uh, so uh, moving on. So next up is Blue Fortune. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna guess that it's aquatic in some way, or so. Let's see. Uh, the notes are juniper berries. We have lime and calamus. I have no idea what calamus is. No. Uh, and then we have rose, jasmine, and nutgrass. And then at the base, cedar, elemi resin, and patchouli. Very fresh and uh, citrusy. Mm. Not my kind of fragrance. Mm. Yeah, and I green. do. I do understand the name Blue Fortune because this, for us perfume nerds, you know when I say this gives a sort of a bluish vibe, and then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, it's 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 not bad. No. Mm, 
it smells good, uh, but it doesn't smell um, like something that would stand out from the rest of similar fragrances. No. Um, do you pick up any? Now, I'm not an LME resin expert. I'm also no. not an expert in nut grass. Uh, I'm gonna guess that it gives a, a green feeling. Um, I'm not sure what calamus is, but I do pick up on the lime. I do feel that slight hint of cedar, the patchouli, I can't feel it. Something green and grassy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you pick up anything of the rose? No. No. Not at all. Yeah, me neither. Um, so what can I say? To me, this is like a smooth, bluish uh, fragrance. Um, I don't think this is going to offend anyone. If you're a man, you can put it on after the gym. It's going to be perfect. Or when you're going out um, like a warm summer day or something yes. like that. Um, if you're going to give it a rating from 1 to 10. I think it's maybe a 4 or a 5. Whoa. It's not a bad perfume, but it doesn't rock my boat. I don't think it's so special. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to give it a 4. I'm going to give it a 5. It's not bad but it's not really insanely, awesomely good either. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, Blue Fortune by Novelista. So next up is Unique Wood. There you okay. go. And the notes for Unique Wood are uh, pink pepper, lavender and geranium, okay. uh, Sichuan pepper, black pepper, violet leaves, and then we have amber, vanilla and tonka beans. So okay. this is like an aromatic, woody, with a sweet touch, basically. Yes. It is aromatic, it is woody. I Maybe it's a little bit sweet. Mmm, yeah. This is, this is interesting because this gives me the vibe of... Um, I'm not sure how I could forget about the name <laughs> because I sprayed it on on my skin for the first time in like three years. Wow. Uh, Salvage from ah. uh, from Dior. <laughs> so this is maybe another copy. Uh, of yeah, another perfume. So uh, uh, unique wood reminds me a bit of Salvage. Here I have Salvage and to try uh, and. Uh, so we are going to establish if it's just my nose uh, or if it's actually something that you feel is similar as well. So let's spray it on this. Yeah. Um, boom. So do you find them, do you find any similarities between them? So this one, so Savage should yes. be a lot sort of a in your face, stronger and all that. But I did pick up something that reminded me of Sauvage. I could be wrong. No, Sauvage is sharper and yeah. stronger, yeah. but they do remind me of each other. Oh, you, okay, yes. cool. That's interesting. So, Maybe can I try this one again? a little bit more aromatic. Yeah, wow. The pepper and all in this, uh, this, uh, this, is, this, is, this has a vibe of uh, Sauvage. And we are seeing a pattern here. Yes. They, it, I don't think it's a fluke chance that two out of three, right? Or is, mm -hmm. it, is it the second or third? Uh, this is the third, yeah. I think. Yeah. That two out of three reminds us of something else. Uh, and maybe the third one also rem actually yeah. is a copy of another yeah. perfume that we don't know about. Yeah. So yeah. what can I say? I think um, and, unique wood is, yeah, sorry. And what I am reflecting upon is that Novelista's perfumes is not cheap. They cost mm. like $100. Um, so I don't know why you would buy a copy of another yeah. perfume that is so pricey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I lost, uh, it was uh, quite a while I was that I checked out uh, Savage prices, so I don't think it's cheap, but I don't think it's ultra, ultra expensive either. But mm -hmm. I do believe that these are sort of in the same ballpark, so why would you choose to go with Unique Wood? To my nose, 
if you enjoy salvage you are most likely going to enjoy unique wood, wood as well yes. and to my nose uh, i don't think that uh, it's just a coincidence that they are so similar it no. feels like someone would was like trying to copy salvage and i would actually go for salvage unless you want a slightly like you softer. mentioned harsh uh, yeah then uh, if you want a softer version then you probably should go for unique wood but also to remember that there are different versions now of uh, Sauvage. So you have the um, EDP, etc. So you could actually try them before going for the Novelista yes. one. But was that was this interesting. This is the EDT. This is the EDT, yeah. yeah. This is the original. Um, so if we are going to give this a rating, I know that you said before that you really enjoyed Sauvage. Yes. So uh, what are you going to so give? I have wood? to smell that one because I have been smelling mm. Sauvage. <laughs> It's very similar, but it's not as good. So this is maybe a six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's not a bad one, but now I'm comparing it to the real one, which is so much better. Yeah. Mm, I am going to agree with you. I think this is six or six and a half. Um, now that sort of I have the image of of Salvage, uh, it's it just feels a bit tacky and boring. It's like you're basically would yeah i'm trying out a copy uh, that is uh, not as fun as the original no. uh, but it's not a bad one um, and i guess maybe in the future if they lower their prices maybe this is going to be a steal who knows uh, but yeah so that was um, unique wood so next up is wood venture and i okay. believe that wood venture popped up in our perfume samples bag game if i'm not uh, yes, wrong i think you're right um but, but i forgot how it <laughs> smells so uh, let's do this um this is uh, this has the notes of saffron cardamom and osmanthus uh, gaiac wood papyrus and patchouli uh, and then we have uh, oud myrrh and black pepper yes and i do remember that i like this one mm. uh, then and i like it now as well i think it's woody spicy aromatic really nice a good wood not that dirty kind yeah of wood. yeah i agree with you and this is this is not troublesome but interesting in that i am starting to look for copies here uh, <laughs> yeah. that's weird but and I'm not sure if, if it's just my imagination or if it's uh, for real, but I do get a vibe of either um, Versace's Oud Noir or Tom Ford's Oud Wood. But ah. uh, it's not nowhere near the sophisticated sort of a complex uh, scent of Tom you Ford's Oud Wood. Oud Wood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, But yeah, I'm not sure if I'm if if I'm imagining. Uh, but this is going to be interesting. Uh, further down the road, when more of you guys have tried out Novelista, please do let me know in the comments if you feel that um, this one is similar to do those. And also, uh, please do let me know if you find that Unique Wood is similar to Savage. And then what was the name of the first uh, one? Old uh, Privé, Rouge Privé. Yeah, if that one is similar to um, Intense Café. Yes. Uh, but this, there's no one can deny uh, that if you put your nose to this one, you are a no oud, uh, then you are going to be familiar with the scent. You're going to feel like, hey, haven't I smelled this one before? Yes. Uh, so, yeah, it's good. What are you going to give it? Uh, I'm going to give it. A seven or an eight. Mm -hmm. I think it's nice. Okay. I like spicy perfumes and I think it's a beautiful old. Yeah, this is a nice, soft, um, uh, sort of a well-made oud. Uh, I still feel that it's, it's like a, it's, this is most likely inspired by something that is, exists. Uh, but uh, mm, maybe six and a half for me. Okay. So that was oud venture next up is couture chic i really enjoy the name i don't know yes. why it sounds good it does. Uh, and the notes are uh, green notes orange blossom and pink pepper then we have oris turkish note 
no, Tur Turkish rose, <laughs> and Egyptian, Egypt, uh, Egyptian <laughs> jasmine. Uh, we have bourbon, vanilla, patchouli, and cassis. Uh, so yeah, like a floral, fruity, gourmandy, thanks to the bourbon, vanilla. Maybe not gourmandy, but I do pick yeah, up the sweetness right away. Yeah, there is some, some sweetness. And I think it's really nice. It's floral, it's fruity, it's, um, it's a little bit sweet and gourmandy. Uh, I do think it maybe reminds me of something, but I think that I'm just... This is nice. Curious, yeah, mm, it is. And I think that once you guys get a whiff of this, maybe you can chime in and let us know what this reminds you I would say maybe some of. Poison Girl. Oh, really? Yes, what do you think? Wow. Maybe, maybe. Or maybe we are just looking for similarities <laughs> yes. in every single sniff. <laughs> yes. uh, but. Yeah, I, I enjoy it. Um, I do pick up the pink pepper. I yes. do pick up... I don't pick up that much of the green notes. No. Um, rose, jasmine, and then the bourbon vanilla is clearly yeah, there. Yeah, the vanilla, not so much rose, I think. No. This is more of no. a fruity fragrance yeah. than a flowery fragrance. Yeah. Like a fruity, sweet uh, yes. fragrance. Uh, so what are you going to give um, Couture Chic from Novelista, 1 to 10? Um, I'm going to give it an 8. Wow! Uh, because I do think it reminds me of Poison Girl, and Poison Girl is a really nice one. Very sweet. Mmm, yeah, I, I understand that. Mmm, to me it's, it's a 7. Um, so that was interesting. And you actually... You like Poison Girl, but you also think that Poison Girl is a little bit too sweet. Um, we talked um, about it in yeah. when you were rating women's fragrances, I think. Mm, yeah, I can't remember, but I, I can't I can't remember that conversation we yeah. had. Uh, and I think that Poison Girl is pretty nice, but there was something that felt a bit off to me. Yes. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it was. I do enjoy sweet fragrances. I yes. mean. Feb Delicious, one of my all-time favorites, and that one is sweet. But there is always, to me, sweet done right. Yes. Otherwise, you know, there are tons of cheap, cheap sweet fragrances that just smells cheap, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's like everything else. you got to balance it up. Uh, I did give it a 7, right? You did. Uh, yeah, so that was Couture Chic. So next up is Summer Flare. Okay. I enjoyed the name. Yes. The juice looks sort of greenish. Yeah, I like that. Uh, and this is um, ozonic, aromatic and fruity and aquatic. Okay. So it has melon, peach, grapefruit and mint. We have mm. Egyptian, jasmine, pink pepper and sunflower, vanilla, cedar and white musk. Melon, mint and many other things I like. I really like the opening. Mm. It's so fruity. It's so much melon in it. Wow, this is like, yeah, fruity, minty bomb. Yeah. I, I finally won with a proper prominent mint note. <laughs> yeah. It's a cool opening. It is. Um, really cool. And I think, did it contain pear? Um, and what other fruits? No, peach, melon peach. and mint. Yeah, I think it's the peach I'm picking up now in the dry down. And it's really nice. This is a good fruity one. Can you pick up? So this is supposed to have vanilla, cedar and white musk. So white musk usually, well not usually, but a lot of it is sort of a just in the background providing okay. like a soft, slight bit of depth. Yeah, uh, but, I, can, um, I can pick that up. Um, the vanilla I can pick up but not the cedar. Hmm, I don't get much of the vanilla either. This is like a fruity, minty bomb to me. And it's nice. It is. I enjoy it. It's uh, it's very likable. Uh, unless you, you don't enjoy fruity notes in your perfumes, then you're most likely going to enjoy this. Uh, the name is Summer Flare. Um, perfect for summer. Yeah, good, good name. So uh, if you are going to give Novelista's Summer Flare a rating from 1 to 10, this minty, fruity bomb of a perfume. I think I'm going to give it a 7. Mm -hmm. I think it's really nice. 
Okay. It's not as good as the one the before one. that got an eight. Yeah. So that's why this gets a seven. Mm, yeah, the opening was really cool. I love that mint, but now it sort of fades away into mm. something that is more green and aquatic and sort of a generic. Yeah. Mm, so to me, this is five and a half or six. It's really nothing revolutionary, even though the opening with that strong mint was really nice. Yes. Uh, so yeah, that was a Summer Flare. So next up is Velvet Dusk and this was one of those that we tried also in yes. one of our perfume samples bag game. Uh, yes. <laughs> I honestly, it, it, was, it was probably not that good because I can't even remember how uh, it smelled like. No, actually we both enjoyed it. Oh, we did? Yes. Okay, wow. Uh, and I think you maybe gave it a 7 or an 8. Oh, wow. Um, I wanted to give it a lower rating because I had tried it on and uh, the longevity wasn't so good. Ah. But then we agreed on only rating the impression and not the longevity. Yeah. Uh, so the notes are violet leaf, bergamot and mandarin orange. Then we have tobacco, vetiver and nutmeg and then the base is cedar, amber and musk. Yes. So interesting note combination. And this is... It, it is a really special one. It's soft, it's spicy, it's um, kind mm. of fresh in some way. Yeah, it has a fresh side. I'm gonna guess... Yeah, we do have two different kinds of citrus in it. It has that vetiver together with the musk, so that could make it feel like it's a bit fresh. It does smell a bit fresh. Yeah. It's supposed to have tobacco. I don't um, feel it. And to me... No, this is not a tobacco fragrance, I think. Maybe it's like a, a slight bit... hint of it, but is not... it a little bit marini? Mm. Mm. Not aquatic, but something like marine or yeah, I do understand why you could. I think that's the a mix of vetiver and the tobacco, and yeah. uh, you. I do. Yeah, I understand the similarities. Yeah, but I don't think it's an aquatic one. No. Um, interesting one. Um, it is. I think I. I'm... I can't remember what I gave it in the beginning, uh, the first time we tried it, uh, like a mm. month ago or something. But uh, what are you, you going to give it now? You can change your ratings. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it's going to be. I'm going to go back and see what I gave it then. Yeah. What are you going to give it? Seven. Seven. Yes. Uh, okay. Mm. This is nice, but it also feels like it's generic in the sense that I, I feel I feel that I felt this in another perfume. Uh, this to me is maybe six. Okay. So that was Velvet Dusk. So next up is Crazy Rich. Um, I, I'm not sure how I feel about the name. It feels like someone was la lazy. Uh, but this is supposed to be, to have green apple, mandarin mm. blossom, violet leaves, Egyptian jasmine again, uh, Bulgarian rose, geranium, and the base notes are yelang ylang, musk and sandalwood. Yes. So like um, really fruity. Yes, apple, jasmine. Yeah, sandalwood. fruity floral. Yeah. With with those beautiful woody notes, the light woody yeah. notes like sandalwood. Yeah. Yes, I think it's uh, I think it's nice. Hmm. So uh, it seems like all of the Novelista uh, fragrances are for both men and women, so they are unisex. Um, however, even though I feel you can pull it off as a man as well, this is unisex. I do feel that this one leans um, slightly more okay. towards the female side. Uh, and this is probably the first one out of the ones we tried yes. that I feel deviates from that unisex Mark. And I think you might be right, yes. Um, but um, yeah, I do find that it's um, it's basically a fruity floral. Yeah, uh, a I don't fruity feel that... white floral. Yeah, yeah. Um, and not sure... I'm gonna compare it to one. Which one? <laughs> and I think it's the Ylang Ylang. Uh, but this actually reminds me of Shador, which mm -hmm. is a beautiful, beautiful. So if they have tried to make Shador... Um, Anyone, anyone trying to copy Shador mm. will fail because that's such a beautiful one. But 
I think maybe that's what they have been trying to do because it reminds me of it. And now, now, this is the thing with notes. You <laughs> yeah. can put stuff in someone's head when you just say this smells similar, like to, like that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you are right. Now, when you say it, it, I do feel that I smelled this before. Yes. Uh, and then I think the name might be. <laughs> Funny because Charlize Theron is the one who has uh, uh, made yeah. a face for Shador and she yeah. is probably crazy rich. Yeah, probably, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I hope she is. She's doing a great job. Um, well, what can I say? Uh, I don't know if this is a dupe or not. Uh, you pick up the similarities, but I can't actually remember Shador, uh, even though we tried it like a few weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, but I do feel that I've, I've smelt it before. It's. I think this is nice though. Yeah, I do like it. So, um, on a female, I would probably not wear this one, even though I have not, no problems wearing florals. Uh, on a female, this is quite nice. Yes. And I am going to give it maybe seven and a half or eight. Yeah. And I believe on a woman, this will, will be really nice. This is like a fruity floral um, that is not going to offend anyone. Most yeah. are likely going to enjoy it on you. And I would definitely wear it and it gets an eight. Whoa, I think it's eight. a good one. Cool. So that was a crazy rich. So next up is a silk destiny. Okay. Uh, you know, if someone says silk, I'm going to be interested because yes. silk feels, I'm going to guess that this is supposed to be like a smooth something, right? Ah, uh, yes. Could be wrong. Uh, pear, pink pepper and tangerine. We have rose, Egyptian jasmine again, patchouli, elemi resin, sandalwood and amber. So how does it smell then? It smells floral and sweet. Floral and sweet. Mmm, this is... Um, um, I guess if they were trying to... If they were trying to match the name with the scent. Uh, and whenever I think silk, I think, think silk is smooth, like something is yes. smooth. Uh, this is really smooth. It's light. Yes. Uh, it's supposed to have... It has something that makes it a li little bit fresh. Is there some mm. bergamot or something in it? Tangerine. Not sure what mm. that would be, but... Um, this is... Um, yeah, I do pick up the pear because it's got to be the pear at the top, yeah. which gives it that sort of a sweet, fruity... Yeah. yeah. Um, and I do pick up the floral mix along with a bit of sandalwood. Yeah. So this to me is like a sandalwood together with some florals, together with the sweetness from the pear. Yes. Um, I think it's nice, but it doesn't have so much personality. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Uh, what are you going to give it? Six and a half or... No, six and a half. Six and a half. Yes. Mm, I think I'm gonna go with five and a half. Uh, it's it's not bad, but it's not uh, something insanely good either. Uh, so yeah, that was our quick first impressions on Novelista's Silk Destiny. So that was nine from Novelista, and uh, it seems that those nine are pretty much their entire collection. Yes. Uh, at least these are the ones that we could find. Uh, this is a tough one to summarize because i feel that overall they were nice it, they were uh, yeah. but i can't shake off that uh, initial feeling that they copied intense cafe we both both felt yes. that they it was really similar to intense cafe and then when i picked up the sort of a dupe of salvage and then you picked up maybe the jador one and the oud one sort of reminded me of something that was a mix of Oud Noir and Oud Wood. And also maybe the Poison Girl one. Yeah, yeah. So it feels like um, this this is a brand new uh, brand, basically. Uh, and it feels like it, it, it might be actually something that they went out to copy the, the, the sort of a modern classics, if yeah. you will. 
Um, so if anyone knows more about Novelista, yeah, yeah. why they started or what their idea is, yeah. please tell us in the comments. Yeah, comment below and I would, I would really, I'm really curious on if, uh, if you feel the same. So if you tried any of these, if you um, picked up on what we picked up in that they are very similar to existing perfumes, yes. then I would love to hear from you. So please do comment below. It was interesting though because I've seen Novelista on Notino. Yes. Uh, they push that brand quite heavily and I, since it's a really brand new brand, I, I didn't know anything about no. it, neither did you. So this was really interesting to at least find out what they are about. Yes. Uh, so and yeah. I, I would say overall, it's, uh, it's nice perfumes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they smell so good. We don't have pretty much anything bad to say no. about this. Even if they are dupes, they are really well made. Yes. Uh, but I do think that the price points are not cheap. So they are not, so, they are not you know, positioned as a dupe kind of brand with no. cheap, uh, which may say, you know, if I'm going to, you know, think about, okay, if I want the Sauvage scent, then I should just buy Sauvage instead of the one from here. If I want Intense Cafe, then I'm going to buy Intense Cafe and not the one from here. Yes. So, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that was it for this first impression of Novelista. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then I would highly appreciate it if you would smash that like and hit that subscribe and that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And <laughs> guys, listen, you gotta follow her. So head on over to Sandra's channel. I'm gonna link to it in the description uh, so you can follow that link and subscribe to her and watch all her good stuff. Uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.